Hey everyone, Houston Math Prep here, exploring how we might find some limits of a function from a table of values. So in my first example here, I want to know about the limit as x approaches zero of the function sine of x over x. So if I look at a table of values where I have some values on the left side of zero and I have some values of x on the right side of zero and I want to determine if I can, looking at this table, do they seem to approach the same y value when we get closer and closer to x equals zero from both sides. So you can see my list of negative values as I'm getting closer and closer to x from the negative direction, you can see we have about 0 0.8, 0 0.95, 0 0.98, 0 0.99, 0 0.99, and some more 9s. I sure do think we are heading toward a value of 1 as we get closer and closer to 0. Now, we don't ever reach exactly 1. This function is undefined when we plug in 0. We wouldn't get anything because we would have divide by 0, right? But we sure do get closer and closer to what looks like positive 1. And from the positive direction, as I have 1 and x equals 0.5 and x equals a quarter and x equals 0.1, as I get closer and closer to x equals 0 from the positive direction, you can see I'm basically getting the same values, right? And so we're approaching 0 0.9999 and then some. We're getting really, really close to 1 from this side as well. So it sure does look like the limit as x approaches 0 of sine x over x is going to be positive 1 for this one. We can see this when we take a look at the graph of y equals sine of x over x, you can see that we have a smooth curvy graph that tends toward positive 1 from the left and a smooth curvy graph that tends towards positive 1 from the right. We just happen to be undefined at this one specific value x equals 0, but remember being undefined at that particular x value doesn't mean the limit does not exist. It's about approaching that x value, not actually being exactly on that x value. For our next example, the limit as x approaches 2 of 1 over x minus 2 cubed. You might notice if we plug in 2 into our function here, we get 2 minus 2, which is 0. 0 cubed would still be 0. So we're undefined at 2. It says that in our table. But what happens as we get closer and closer to 2? Well, from the left side, 1, 1 and a half, 1 and 3 quarters, up to 1.99, you can see we're getting negative numbers and the negative numbers are getting larger. So we're getting really, really big negative numbers as we get closer and closer to x equals 2 from the left side. So very, very large negative numbers. As I approach from the right side of 2, 3, 2 and a half, 2 and a quarter, 2.1, 2.01, you can see we're getting bigger and bigger numbers, actually the same values, but we're actually getting positive numbers, right? So I'm getting numbers that are getting larger in the positive direction. So if we're getting more and more negative on the left side as we approach 2 and more and more positive as we approach 2 on the right side, then we're definitely not going to the same y value. So this limit does not exist. And if we look at the graph of this, you can see what happens, right? On the left side of x equals 2, the graph is going to go down without bound forever. It's going to continue more and more negative. And from the right side of x equals 2, we'll just continue more and more positive without bound, getting larger and larger there. Our next example, the limit as x approaches 1 of x squared minus 1 over x minus 1. You'll notice here if we plug in 1 in the bottom here, we'd get 1 minus 1 and we'd get 0 and divide by 0 is undefined. So again, we have undefined, but the question is, do we approach the same y value, not whether we're defined at 1? So thinking about approaching from the left side of 1, from 0 and then a half and then 3 quarters and then 0 0.9, 0 0.99, it looks like we're getting closer and closer to I would guess a value of 2, right? You can see 1.9, 1.99. It's a pretty good bet that we're getting close to y equals 2. As I approach x equals 1 from the right side, so from 2 and then 1 and a half, 1 and a quarter, 1.1, 1.01, you can see it looks like the numbers are getting smaller and smaller toward a positive value of 2 also. So since we seem to be heading toward a y value of 2 from both sides of x equals 1, then we'll go ahead and say that this limit is 2. And if we look at the graph, we'll get confirmation. You can see this is actually, the graph of this is just a line. It has slope 1. Uh, there's a hole at x equals 1 because we're not defined at x equals 1 when we plug in 1. But we go to a y value of 2 as we approach this side of the hole. And we also go to a y value of 2 as we approach from the other side 
of the whole. So even though we're undefined at the whole, the important part is what value are we approaching from both sides? And that's a y value of two. For our last example here, we want to look at the limit as x approaches zero of sine of one over x, different than sine of x over x that we looked at earlier. So as I approach zero from the negative direction, from the left side, right, getting uh, negative x values they get closer and closer to zero you can sort of see we don't have all positive or all negative I have some negative values here and then I become positive and then I get less positive and then I jump back to a negative value here so it's really kind of hard to tell what's going on there um, if we look at from the positive direction so thinking about a half and then a quarter 0 0.1 0 0.01 0 0.001 the same thing's kind of happening right although it seems we have opposite signs I'm getting a little bigger maybe toward one here but then all of a sudden I'm negative again and then I'm getting less negative and then I jump back up to a positive number here what we can at least, I think, probably agree on is as I get really close to zero, this seems to jump negative and this seems to jump positive. So I think the limit does not exist here. If I were to guess, this one we included last because it's actually not super easy to tell if the limit exists based on this. They're not clearly going to two different y values from both sides. And that's going to happen occasionally. If we look at the graph of y equals sine of 1 over x here to get an idea of why this does not actually exist, you'll sort of see what's happening. As we get closer and closer to zero, say from the left side, it turns out that this, what we think of as sine going from negative 1 to 1, actually compresses down so much that it is oscillating so quickly as we get closer to zero that it's really hard to tell what's going on. And the same thing is really happening from the right side as well. And you might think, well, as x gets really close to zero, maybe it settles down, but it turns out if we zoom way in on this, you can see it just oscillates back and forth so much that it just fills up space entirely. You can't even see what y value we're approaching at all. So in this case from the graph, this is a little bit of a strange one, but we can definitely see that there is no y value for us to say that it approaches because it oscillates in such a crazy fashion. We couldn't even narrow a y value down that it approaches. All right, hopefully this video gives you some ideas of how to find limits from a table. Check out our videos on one-sided limits coming up next in the series. Thanks for watching everybody.